Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Horace and you're watching Possible Now. So guys, today I'm going to guide you about that how you can fix all crashes and errors in Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 2 by applying these simple steps. So guys, this video is going to be really interesting. So just watch the video till the end. And if you're new in this channel, kindly like this video, share it to your friends, and subscribe to the channel for more content. And without any waste of time, let's start the video. So guys, first of all, we need to update our graphics driver. So open your GeForce experience for NVIDIA user first and here you need to go to the driver section here and simply click on check for updates. It will take some time and it will download the latest drivers in your system and for AMD user guys you can do the same step in your add-on software. And once it's done the next thing is we need to install the latest DirectX and visual retribution files in our system so what we're gonna do is visit the official website of DirectX and here is the setup and download the latest DirectX in your system so open the setup accept the agreement click to next install the Bing bar it's optional so it's up to you click to next and wait for it maybe it takes some time so don't be panic and just after a few minutes it's done Click to finish, get back and now move to the visual retribution folder. Visit the official web website of visual and download all the visual files in your system. So here is the patch file, run this patch file and it will automatically install all the necessary files to run the game properly. So you just need to wait for it and click to yes, click to ok and whether of these steps it will automatically perform in your system. And uh, if you knew this guy and uh, if you're new in the channel guys kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and after some few minutes we just need to wait for it and that's it now guys the pack steps are complete and now move to the next step and now we move to the close some background applications so in the research bar we need to type here settings and now go to the privacy section here and in general there are four options one by one you need to turn it turn it off and down below go to the background apps and turn off all the background apps running in your background my background apps are already turned off so i don't need this get back and now move to the gaming section here and in here you need to turn off show game bar option and also capture setting you need to turn it off and only enable your game mode and now go to the graphic settings here and here you need to click on browse add your game here fortnite client win64 shipping simply add this file click on your game click to option and click on high performance click to save and that's it now move to the next step and the next step is we need to delete some junk or bad files in our system so for this you need to press window key plus r and in here we need to use some commands like prefix P R E F E T C H. Press OK. Click to continue. Control A. Select all and delete all of these bad files in your system. Skip the step and one more command we use here again. Again, press Windows key plus R and this time you need to type here percentage temp T E M P. Again, percentage. Control A. Select all and delete these files in your system. Skip the step again skip the step it will take some time and don't worry these all are like jungle bad files so once you deleted this file from here then then you need to delete these files also from the recycle bin and that's it now guys the next thing is we need to uh, perform some epic game settings so open your epic games launcher go to your library and find your game click on three dots and click on manage option now simply click now simply click on verify and in case if your game files are missing or corrupted then this step will fix your issue close this and now move to the next step and now we need to free our cpu memory so open your task manager and first you need to check your cpu usage in the performance tab here and now we need to close some background application that takes our CPU memory because sometimes uh, games like Fortnite is mostly based on your CPU. So find this kind of application that takes your CPU memory, simply right click on it and end task it. And once your CPU memory is free, 
then you're ready to launch your game guys and and now you can play your game without any lag freezing and starting kind of an issue and now you will see a huge fps boost difference in your game and if you found this video helpful kindly like this video share to your friends and subscribe to the channel for more content and we will meet in the next one until then peace out